Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Media Encoder to convert your MOV files. So what, the first thing you want to do is you want to put your MOV file or your video file on your desktop either in a folder or someplace where you can get at it easily. The next step you want to do is go over to the Adobe Media Encoder, open it up and then select file and then you can select add. Now the nice thing about Adobe Media Encoder is if you can see here you have a couple options. You can press Control I to add in a file, video, or you can actually add in After Effects compositions or Premiere Pro sequences. So if you're building a project in After Effects or you're using Premiere Pro, you can take the sequence or the composition, export it right to the media encoder, and then transfer it out to and convert it to whatever you need for what you're doing. The other thing you can do is, as you can see here, is says to add items to the queue, drag files here or click the add button. So this plus button is the same thing and I'm just going to go down to the folder and I've got this folder here labeled Canon Movies. I shoot video with my DSLR Canon Rebel T3i and these all just happen to be MOV files. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select this video that I created and you know there's really nothing there uh, I was just playing around with my camera doing some tilts and pans and seeing what I was able to accomplish with it now this first tab under format gives you obviously your formats right now it's set for Windows Media you can do an uncompressed AVI a bitmap, TIFF, Targa, QuickTime, PNG you know you have all of these different um, different options. So the next thing I'm going to do is just select this H.264. The preset that I'm going to use is the 1080p 25 or excuse me 24 high quality. This film was shot in 24 frames a second at 1080p 1920 by 1080 and this is the preset that I'm going to use. If you click on the link for the output file you can then change where your new video will be saved. And I'm just going to save it onto the desktop and label it Adobe Convert just to make it easy. And then up here in the top right corner, you hover over it, the tooltip says Start Queue. You can add a whole bunch of videos to queue at once, or you can do one at a time. Really, it makes no difference. Once you press this play button, it's going to go from the top to the bottom and as you can see under status where it says waiting that now changes to a um, progress bar and you're able to see how much of this video has completed and how much time is remaining so that's it for this video please subscribe comment if you need to and thanks for watching